In the past, many children and adults died for unknown reasons. Not understanding why, people often blamed the supernatural or bad luck. Finally, science stepped in and discovered the real causes. And we realize that many of these deaths were due to infections caused by microscopic germs. During all this time that we were unaware of their existence, these tiny germs easily infected, killed, or crippled huge numbers of people. But after many years of research, we discovered that we can protect ourselves through vaccinations. It is very important that they are available for everyone. But how do vaccinations work? A vaccination is a way to teach our immune system to detect harmful organisms and protect against them. Vaccines contain harmless fragments of germs, which are recognized by the immune system but cannot cause an infection. After the vaccine is injected, containing an additional vaccine substance, called adjuvant, it alerts our immune system of its presence. After investigating the intruder, our cells start attacking immediately. When the battle starts, some of the T cells and natural killer cells directly destroy the intruders, while other T cells instruct the B cells what kind of intruder they're dealing with. The B cells are the weapon factories of our immune system and produce antibodies which bind very specifically to targets on the intruders to eliminate them. Additionally, our immune system develops memory cells that help our immune system to be prepared and to react instantly when it encounters the same intruder again. So the next time the body gets in contact with these germs, we can rely on our own trained and tougher immune system. Due to the protection given to us by vaccines, we do not get severely sick, and we do not spread these infections to those whose immune system is not strong enough. For example, small babies, pregnant women, or people sick with other disease. By making sure that at least 95% of people are vaccinated, the remaining 5% who cannot be vaccinated will still be protected. This is called herd immunity. By working together, we have managed to change things in a relatively short time. Due to vaccinations, 3 million children are saved every year. With higher vaccination rates, an additional 1.5 million children under the age of five could be saved. But there are signs of the clock turning back. With people choosing not to vaccinate, disrupting the protection of the population, the herd immunity, risking not only their own lives, but also the lives of their newborn babies and all other unprotected people. All because of wrongly perceived risks and falsely claimed side effects. We know that vaccines can cause mild side effects like fever and headache. But if you look at the risk of death from infections because of not vaccinating, these side effects are worth it. With huge amounts of resources and time spent by researchers all around the world, studying large groups of people, it has been proven time and time again that there is no association between vaccinations and allergy development, autoimmune disease, or autism. Although the scientific community has shared these findings directly with the public, through rigorously checked scientific reports and renowned websites, there are still people who share and spread urban myths and fake news about vaccines. So before you click on popular but unfounded sources spread by non-specialists, consult a medical expert or an approved medical resource and benefit from the lessons learned by our ancestors. For more information, please go to patients.eaaci.org.